Audience ready? Yeah! Hi, my name is Eli Williamson, and this is What It Was Was Football by Andy Griffin. Back last October, I believe it was, we were holding this tent service off of this little college town and got there about dinner time on Saturday. Well, different ones of us thought that we ought to get something to eat, so we got off the truck and we followed this little bunch of people through this little bitty patch of woods there. So we came across this big sign that said, Get something to eat here. <laughs> I went up and I got myself two hot dogs and a big orange drink. And then, before I could get a mouthful of that food, this whole raft of people come up around me and get to her. I can't eat nothing in it. And I drop my big orange drink. <laughs> well, friends, they commenced to move, and there wasn't much I could do to move with them. They went through all kinds of doors and gates, and I looked up over one of them and said, North Gate. Well, they kept on going, and pretty soon we came across this young boy who said, Ticket, please. I said, Friend, I don't got a ticket. I don't know where it is I'm a going. He said, Well, come right out. First chance you get. I said, I'll do it. I'll turn right around. First chance I get. Well, they kept on moving, and pretty soon they got to where it was they weren't going, because they parted ways, and I could see pretty good. What I saw was this whole raft of people sitting across from this great, big, green cow pasture <laughs> that someone had taken and drawn white lines into it and stuck posts into it. I don't even know what all. Then I looked down a little further and I see five or six convicts running up and down and blowing whistles. <laughs> <laughs> then I looked down even further and I saw these pretty girls wearing these Little bitty short dresses, <laughs> jumping around. I figured that state would see what was going to happen. <laughs> By the time I get set down, a whole bunch of men come running out of one end of this great big outhouse down on the cow pasture. Everybody around me got up and hollered. I turned to the man next to me. I said, friend, what is it on account that you're hollering for? His response was to walk me on the back and say, Buddy, you need a drink. <laughs> I figured that meant I need another big orange, so I went up. I got it. By the time I got back, I saw that the two men had formed two little bitty bunches down on the cow pasture, and they voted. They elected one man apiece. That man walked to the center of the cow pasture, shook hands with the other. They hadn't seen each other for a real long time. And then the convict ran up with a coin. They commenced an odd man right there. Pretty soon, I saw what it was they were odd man. You see, both bunches full of men wanted this weird-shaped pumpkin thing. <laughs> and I know, friends, they couldn't eat it, because they kicked that thing all evening long and never busted <laughs> <laughs> But both bunches full of men wanted that thing. You see, one bunch got it, and it made the other bunch just as mad as they could be. I seen that evening, friends, the awfulest fight I have ever seen in my whole life. They were, they were running one another, and kick one another, and throw one another on the ground, and stomp on one another, and jump their feet into one another, and as soon as one of them would get injured, they'd run them off, run one more right back on. <laughs> they'd done that about as long as I sat there, but pretty soon that young boy who said, ticket please, comes up and he says, friend, you're going to have to leave on account that you don't have a ticket. I said, well, all right. I got up and I left. Well, I don't know, friends to this day, what it was they were doing down there, but I have studied that. I think it's some sort of game where you have to take that pumpkin thing and you have to run it from one end of the cow pasture to the other without getting knocked over, falling over, or stepping in something. Thank you. <laughs>